think I give a shit about my legacy. That's not what matters. The FTX collapses. And a fraud scandal. The industry will recover. Have you heard about the FTX debacle? Recently it's been in the news, but what is it and why is it so bad? Is it really even worse than we can think? In this video, we'll analyze the FTX crash and try to figure out why it's worsening day by day. Are you ready to find out? Let's dive in. FTX, the world's fourth largest cryptocurrency exchange, had a steep and rapid decline recently and Sam Bankman fried a crypto industry tycoon and figurehead popularly known as SBF, resigned as CEO of FTX. Bankman fried was arrested recently on charges of fraud and money laundering. He was accused of using FTX to launder money and defraud investors. The arrest came after a months-long investigation by the Bahamian government. This arrest has sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency world. Bankman fried is a well-respected figure in the industry and his arrest has raised questions about the safety of investing in cryptocurrency. It's also a reminder that even the most successful cryptocurrency exchanges can be vulnerable to fraud and money laundering. But what connection does this arrest have to the FTX collapse? The company and many of its affiliated organizations have filed for bankruptcy. This stunning collapse has sparked speculation about the future of FTX, the crypto business in general, and the potential ramifications for financial markets. After a steep fall, cryptocurrency exchange FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on November 11, 2022. In a matter of days, the company's valuation dropped from a whopping $32 billion to default, reducing founder and CEO Sam Bankman frieds net worth of $16 billion to almost nothing. In an interview with New York Times on November 30th, Bankman fried revealed that he's left with only $100,000 in the bank. The volatile cryptocurrency market lost billions of dollars after FTX's collapse, falling below the $1 trillion mark for the first time in many years. The fallout from FTX's demise is expected to resonate throughout the cryptocurrency industry for some time and may even weigh down larger markets. On November 16th, Edwin Garrison filed a class action lawsuit in federal court in Florida, alleging that Sam Bankman fried devised a fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme to prey on unsuspecting investors around the country. Steph Curry, Shaquille O'Neal, Shohei Otana, Naomi Osaka, Larry David, and Kevin O'Leary are all listed in the case for their claimed roles in assisting Bankman fried with the scheme. On December 6th, Bankman fried hired white-collar criminal lawyer Mark S. Cohen, a partner at Cohen & Gresser, a former federal prosecutor and a legal team member for convicted sex trafficker Ghislaine Maxwell. Caroline Ellison, who used to be the CEO of FTX subsidiary Alameda Research, has hired the Washington, D.C. law firm Wilmer Cutler Pickering Hale & Door. The U.S. House Financial Services Committee will hold a hearing on the FTX collapse in December 2022. We'll delve into FTX's missteps as well. One of the most valuable cryptocurrency exchanges, FTX was founded by Bankman Freed when he was only 28 years old. It reached a valuation of $32 billion before filing for bankruptcy making it one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges. Bankman fried had utilized heavy promotion, such as Super Bowl ad campaigns and the purchasing of naming rights to the arena where the Miami Heat play basketball to increase interest in the market. Apart from his involvement in the Bitcoin industry, he gained notoriety for his political lobbying and philanthropy. He helped orchestrate deals worth around a billion dollars in early 2022 to save cryptocurrency companies that were in trouble due to falling token prices. So what happened to FTX? The fall of FTX occurred for 10 days in November 2022. The issue was sparked by a report published by Coindesk on November 2nd detailing a $5 billion position in FTT, FTX's native token, held by Alameda Research, the quant trading business also run by Bankman Freed and Caroline Ellison. The study showed that rather than putting its money into fiat currency or another cryptocurrency, Alameda's charitable foundation had put its money into FTT, the token that its sister business had created. Consequently, people in the Bitcoin industry started to worry about the leverage and financial stability of Bankman Freed's businesses, which he had failed to disclose. Apart from this, Binance also announced that it would be selling FTT tokens on November 6th and that it would liquidate its entire holding of FTT tokens, or about 23 million tokens, with a market value of nearly $529 million. Since the Terra Luna crypto token failed earlier in 2022, Binance CEO Chang Peng Chao has explained that the exchange's decision to liquidate its FTT investment was based on risk management, and that led to the liquidity crisis. Recently, FTX was facing a liquidity issue. Bankman Freed tried to reassure FTX investors that their assets were secure. Still, after the Coindesk revelation, users demanded withdrawals totaling $6 billion. In just two days, FTT lost 80% of its value. 
And to save FTX, Bankman Freed rushed to Binance. And before approaching Binance, Bankman Freed attempted to raise cash from venture investors but failed. On November 8th, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, Binance, revealed it had signed a non binding deal to purchase FTX's non US company for an undisclosed sum, effectively saving its close rival. But there was another twist in the story Binance canceled plans to bail out FTX. After concerns were discovered during corporate due diligence regarding the misuse of customer funds, Binance announced on November 9th, just a day after it had announced the rescue agreement, that it would cancel the FTX acquisition. And the result was, FTX assets were frozen. Bahamian subsidiary FTX Digital Markets had its assets frozen by the country's securities authority on November 10th, after it was reported that Bankman Freed was trying to raise as much as $8 billion to save the exchange from collapse. The same day, FTX was the subject of an announcement from California's Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. On that very day, Bankman Freed tweeted an apology and stated that FTX's international exchange lacked the necessary money to meet consumer demands. Bankman Freed claimed that bad internal labeling was to blame for FTX's faulty calculations of leverage and liquidity. Along the same lines, he predicted that Alameda would eventually stop trading, which eventually led to bankruptcy. Bankman Freed resigned as CEO of FTX on November 11th and was succeeded by John J. Ray III, who oversaw the bankruptcy of Enron's energy trading business. On the same day, FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and disclosed that about 130 of its subsidiaries and affiliates were also involved. According to its bankruptcy filings, FTX had assets of between $10 billion and $50 billion, making its obligations exactly equal to its assets. And there were some unauthorized transactions as well. FTX reported unauthorized transactions and estimated that $473 million worth of cryptocurrency was moved out of FTX wallets under questionable circumstances. According to blockchain analytics company Elliptic, although the company was unable to determine whether the tokens had been stolen. FTX US General Counsel Ryan Miller has tweeted that the company has accelerated the process of transferring all digital assets to cold storage to mitigate damage upon seeing unlawful activities. This move is a precautionary measure to protect customers' funds and ensure the continued operation of FTX. The collapse of FTX could be devastating for the crypto trading industry, leading to a significant decrease in the number of traders and investors in the market. It could also lead to a decline in the market's liquidity, making it more difficult for traders to buy and sell digital assets. It will take some time for the broader effects of the FTX debacle on the crypto sector to become apparent. As the most significant drop in cryptocurrency history, FTX may discourage investors who are wary due to worries about the industry's long-term viability and security. Legal action may be necessary if FTX users cannot retrieve their investments. The failure of FTX could prompt the US Securities and Exchange Commission and other regulators to increase their oversight of cryptocurrencies, and Congress could be more willing to pass new legislation governing digital tokens and exchanges. Shockwaves will continue reverberating across the crypto community after the shocking collapse of the third largest exchange by volume. On November 11th, crypto lender BlockFi temporarily halted withdrawals for customers amid concerns that its future was uncertain. On the 12th and 13th of November, withdrawals on Crypto.com spiked. For the time being, Genesis Global Capital has suspended withdrawals from its cryptocurrency lending platform. And that's only the start of the unintended consequences. In a wide-ranging interview with New York Times columnist Andrew Ross Sorkin at the DealBook Summit on November 30th, Bankman Freed indicated that FTX's downfall originated from a market meltdown and not from criminal behavior. Even though his lawyers told him not to, the ex-CEO took part in the meeting electronically from the Bahamas. Once valued at $32 billion, FTX now owes billions of dollars to the creditors. Bankman Freed claimed in the interview that he was unaware of what was going on between FTX and Alameda Research, its trading arm, and that he had not been responsible for ensuring the two were in compliance or appointing an officer to do so, an omission he admitted was a mistake. When asked by Sorkin if the FTX and Alameda Research funds were mixed, Bankman Freed denied doing so. After the interview was published, Coindesk's editor-at-large, Lawrence Lewitton, questioned the accuracy of Bankman Freed's remark and stated that the mixing of assets is always an intentional act. To combine funds, the effort is required. When it's online, you can create an account, and mixing requires a method. What do you think? Is Bankman Freed lying? Will the FTX collapse lead to the downfall of the crypto industry? Do share your views in the comment section. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. 
We'll see you soon, so hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon, and don't forget to check out our channel for more fantastic content.